Now, of course, one of the best resolutions is just to mount a step on the side of your van. But we've been using portable steps as of yet. So if that's your choice, perhaps this review will help you. We live in vans, and so we need a step to get in and out of our doorways, our, our tall doorways. These are three different steps that we bought at different times, different places. This is the one we've been using for the ambulance. And, well, we've had it a few months now, but you can see this is coming undone. It's cracked right there, and it's popping. Both of these are popping up. They're supposed to be on the inside. The metal is supposed to be inside the top of this. And it's just popping out. This side is popped way out, and I can see that it's cracked. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a crack right there. It's getting, it's getting to where I feel like it's, it's getting kind of dangerous. It, it feels real solid right now until you step with your full weight on it. It'll shift this way, shift back that way. This section, this comes right up to the step, and this kind of comes over them quite a bit. So in order to close the door, you have to push it off to the side, and then you can close your door, and then in the morning you open it, and you got to reach over and get this and pull it back into place. So it's inconvenient in that respect, but it's very stable. It's held up wonderfully for a long time now. It's a real sturdy model. Um, made by Rubbermaid. So, holds up to 300 pounds. It's, it's a really good sturdy step. Um, but to me, it's a little on the bulky side. This one is just tall enough where the step just goes, or the door goes right over it. So it was just the right height, but it's falling apart. So all the way step, I think it makes it uh, if it was all aluminum didn't didn't have these plastic parts, I'd be okay.
always locked, capacity 300 pounds. It's out of Denver, Colorado. By B&R Plastics, Inc. So, B&R Plastics, Inc. This is the one we've had the longest. It's held up super well. It's about the right height. Now, since we've had it for a little while, it's getting a little more difficult to fold. You used to be able to just pull on this and it'd fold right up. But now you have to push these sides in. And, and then it folds up really easy. So, no big thing. It's a little stiff. Big deal. You don't fold it up all that often. So, I think this is my favorite, actually. This thing is so, so sturdy. Our senior member uses this. It's tied on so she can get in and out of her driver's door. And it's just too high for her. Well, on a couple of occasions, she's left it outside and forgotten to bring it into the car before she drove away. And so it goes and it clatters. And one time she backed up, uh, actually I think two or three times now, she's backed up over this and it just folded up and she ran over it with this big old beast of a, of a van. And it survived just fine. I mean, you can barely see even any abrasions. She's even got a scrape marks here on the corners and stuff. I mean, this thing is a tough little mofo. And it's about the right height. I we really like it. Um, this one, again, I haven't had really all that long to, to comment too much on it. I like it, but it's not tall enough. It folds up really easy. Well, I guess it's the same thing. you got to push the sides in. So it's getting stiff like the other one did. I like it's the old handle. It folds up. But anyway, this one, we really haven't liked it since we got it. Um, it's a little bit difficult to fold up. You actually got to push up on this, push up on that, and it's still stiff. Even after pushing those up, you gotta really push on it to get it. And then when you put it back out, these don't come all the way into lock position. You have to push them down to get it to lock. These, once you actually put these straight, there's no additional locking. It just sets down on it. This one, we hardly ever fold up anyway. It's, it seems like it's a little bit difficult. B and R plastics.